when I started playing the accordion, it was something that I always asked myself, is this where I would be, when, where I am now? And it, it, it is. I always dreamed of being that, you know, the musician up on stage in front of the George Street crowd or, you know, in front of somebody anywhere around the world. And uh, we've made it happen. You know, to be able to uh, depend on each other and have all these years in and, and have a living and give people jobs and travel the world playing Newfoundland music. All right, you know, just it's fun. It's yeah. still fun. The pub was fine, the kids were fine, and all the rest of the kitchen was fine and all. They are big dick to roll, yes sir. You know, there's times when you think, geez, how did we manage to get this far? But, and then there's other times you go and you look out when you're playing in front of the, the crowd like tonight, you go, yeah, this is the reason we've done it. You know, we're, we do it for the fans. The pub was fine, the kids were fine, and all the rest of the kitchen was fine and all. started with some money your mom and dad lent us and my dad gave us a lot of credit. Yeah. You know, and that was 25 years ago. He's not going to pay them back. We're starting a new album, new CD. We come in with a bunch of songs, probably about 20, 30 songs, and we whittle that down to about 12 or 13. And we'll start, we'll, we're in pre-production, so we're putting arrangements to songs, and then Ian's gonna come in with his, bring his studio in here, and then we're gonna knock it off. We were rocking on water, feeling fancy and free. I think this is our 14th album, I think. And it's hard, you know, it's harder to write songs, it's harder to find good songs. So yeah, we're definitely nervously excited about it, and you know, it costs a lot of money, and it's really hard to get your money back in today's industry. We were rocking on the water, making things a little harder, back in you found by. It's a reason to tour. It's a reason to go back to places, you know, instead of we're going to come back, we're coming back with new music. We're coming back with, you know, something that's... Uh, because, you know, you can only go back so many times, right? You know, doing the same thing, so you want to change it all. Back to the ocean, back to those memories again. Everybody uh, wants us to do a Greatest Hits album. And in our opinion, Greatest Hits <laughs> albums are for bands that don't play anymore or... Are about to give it up. Or yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> We're not yeah. there. <laughs> Chris were doing solo acts at Aaron's Pub. Ralph had, had us double book, Ralph O'Brien, who owned the pub at the time. Ralph said, I'm not sending either of you home till you guys get up on stage and see how it works out. I do remember thinking, he's really good, but I don't like the same type of music he does. But I think after we did it once or twice, I realized that, hey, like this is a good blend that people could enjoy and it covers a lot more people. So when you take a small niche that's traditional music and you open it up a little bit again, well, that's more people you can get to. All right, in the clear. This is where uh, the uh, illustrious, beautiful setup of uh, George Street Festival. As you can see, they desperately need a new stage. Desperately. Because this is where you can either hang out here before a show, or you have to go all the way over there to a green room, which is tangly. This is our 18th time headlining George Street Festival tonight. Yes. So we're sort of used to this room, so why change now? <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Good. Happy George Street Festival! Yay. Who are you guys here to see? Shani Ganook. Shani Ganook, right on. Came all the way from Toronto to see him. Who are you guys here to see today? Uh, Shani Ganook. Well, the whole the whole three bands, yeah. But Shani is a little yeah, special favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. Yeah, Chris Andrews, I think, has a great, you know, great voice. Uh, excellent accordion. All the musicians are good. Music, it really comes from their heart. They just seem to really love it and live it. 
I just like them, everything about them, actually, all their music and everything. Have you been a fan for a while? I've been a fan a long time, ever since they've been around. Who are you guys here to see? Shani uh, Ganuk. Shani Ganuk. <laughs> but everyone, everyone. Yeah, everyone. But mostly Shani Ganuk. Yeah, mostly Shani Ganuk. <laughs> Every couple of years we'll talk and we'll say, you know, what do you think, you know, and it's still good. And as long as people still want it and, and uh, you know, they're enjoying it and we can give it to them, I, I think we're going to go on. How are y'all doing tonight? We love what they're fighting for, home by home. I believe the time's right. I believe we won't go wrong. Words like can and never, they won't be around for long. You know, we're 25 years in, and, and uh, with no offense to all the other wonderful musicians who play with us, but this is definitely the best Shining and I. Oh, yeah, we're, absolutely. We're playing this the this best is probably ever. the tightest band that we've, that we've had behind us in a long time. A lot of times when bang, bands get older, they get lazier, but we're getting tighter. So I, I, we still think we're going that way. Why would you give it up? Really? You know, Something you enjoy doing and everybody else enjoys you doing it. Do you feel emotional about this anniversary or what does you know make you feel? Halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> I was to God, I think 50 years in this band will be long enough. I, year 51, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>